Here we have another colorimetry problem where we're heating up a sample of metal, dropping it in water, monitoring the temperature change, um, and then doing a calorimetry experiment. Here it actually gives us the specific heat of gold and asks us to find the initial temperature of the gold metal. Um, so we're going to start by organizing our information into a table. So I always like to, um, we have both gold, gold, oh, I'm actually taking up a little bit too much space here, gold, let's write a little smaller, and then we have water, H2O, and we're going to have a whole bunch of values for both of these. So I'm going to divide this up into a table, we're going to have mass, specific heat, final temperature, initial temperature, and delta T. So we'll just organize this a little bit before we get started. For both the gold and the water, that way we have a way to organize all the information that's given in the problem. So that way we don't mix up our values. Okay, so here is my table here. Now we'll start reading through the problem and figuring out what we have. 13.5 gram sample of gold. So that would be the mass. 13.5 is placed into a calorimeter, calorimeter containing 60 grams of water. So 60.0 is the mass of the water. The temperature of the water increases from 19 degrees Celsius, so that would be our initial temperature. Not our delta T, but our initial temperature of our water, 19.00 to 20 degrees. So that's our final temperature of our water, 20.00. The specific heat of gold is 0 0.130. 0 0.130. What was the initial temperature of the gold metal sample? So we're being asked to find T initial, and before we do that, we're also going to have to find our delta T value as kind of an intermediate value. All right, we know that the final temperature of the gold is going to be the same as the water because things come to an equilibrium state, so the final temperature of the gold is also 20.00. We also know the specific heat of liquid water is 4.184. So that will allow us to solve for Q of the water. 19, 20 minus 19 gives us a temperature change of 1.00 degrees Celsius. So when we substitute into Q equals MC delta T, that value will have three significant figures. So let's start by figuring out the heat that's absorbed by the water. Q of the water equals M60 grams times C, 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius times our delta T of 1 degree Celsius. And I am going to look back at the values that I wrote down on my table for significant figures. So I have 3, 4, and 3. So my answer here should be rounded to 3 significant figures. When I solve that, I get 251 uh, 0 0.04, which of course rounded to three significant figures is just 251 joules. So that is my Q for my water. I know that the Q for my gold, which I'll use its chemical symbol, AU, the Q for my gold is going to be the opposite sign. Whatever heat is given or is taken in by the water is given off by the metal. So my Q for my gold is negative 251 joules. Now I need to solve for the delta T of my gold. So I know that Q equals M times C times delta T. So to rearrange this equation, I just divide by M and C on both sides. So delta e T equals Q divided by MC. We'll do that over here. We'll plug in our numbers. So negative 251 joules divided by our mass of 13.5 five grams times our value of C, which is 0 0.13 joules per gram degree Celsius. 
Notice we are going to get a negative temperature change here, and that makes sense because the temperature of the gold should decrease when it is placed into the water. So when I divide all this out, negative 251 divided by 13.5 divided by 0.13, I got a value of negative 143.04. We should figure out our units. They should be degrees Celsius. We'll check. Joules cancels out. Grams also cancels out. And we are left indeed with units of degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Now this is not our final temperature. Remember this is our value for delta T. And I should round this to three sig figs um, because all of the values that I substituted in, three sig figs, three sig figs, um, and, uh, and then our third value also has three sig figs. Our Q value is rounded to three sig figs, 251. Um, and so I'm going to round this value of delta T to just three sig figs, negative 143 degrees Celsius. Now to figure out T initial, I just need to uh, know that my final temperature minus my initial temperature is equal to my value of delta T. So all that would be equal to negative 143. We don't know our initial temperature, so I'll leave in a variable. And then our final temperature is the same as for the water, which is 20 degrees Celsius, or 20.00. Right away, since I have negative T initial, and I don't want negative to be on our variable, the thing that we're solving for, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this whole thing by negative 1 to move my negative sign to the other side. So multiply by negative 1, so I get negative 20 plus T initial equals positive 143. So I'm just switching where my negative sign is. This makes it a lot easier to move the 20 to the other side of the equation. Then the 20 cancels out, and I'm left with positive T initial equals 100. and 63. And that temperature is in degrees Celsius. Um, and it, of course, we are looking at decimal places here. 143 had no decimal places, so our answer should also stay as a whole number. So our final answer here for T initial is 163 degrees Celsius. We can go back and just double check that this makes sense. Um, the, goal, the initial temperature of the gold should be higher than the final temperature of the water and the gold because the water um, is gaining temperature. It's getting a, going to a higher temperature, so the gold should be losing or going to a lower temperature. And this makes sense.